Or in this asking to the light to share how to evaluate the limit tangent x minus sine x over x cube when x approaches zero. I'm going to first rewrite the function in different forms so that we are able to evaluate better. So we have tangent x minus sine x over x cube. Tangent x is equal to sine x over cos x and we have minus sine x divided by x cubed. Let's standardize the denominator part of the numerator part of this function. So we have sine x minus sine x times cos x, the whole thing over cos x divided by x cubed. Recall that if we have a over b over c over d and should have a d over b c which means that for this case we have sine x minus sine x cos x over x cubed and cos x we can factorize sine x since sine x is the common term so sine x times 1 minus cos x over x cubed cos x i'm going to split the fraction we have sine x divided by x and we times 1 minus cos x divided by x squared times cos x. The reason that we split and rewrite the function is because we have one pre-proof limit where the limit of sine x over x when x approaches 0 is equal to 1. So we are going to have this limit and recall that the properties of limit. Where we have limit x approaches 0 for the function fx times the function gx is equal to the limit when x approaches 0 for the function fx times the limit x approaches 0 for the function gx which means that we are going to split this since we already know this part which is equal to 1 i'm going to find the limit for this part first so that we can later times together let's rewrite this part so that we can evaluate better so we have 1 minus cos x over x squared times cos x to make the evaluation easier, I'm going to times the conjugate of the numerator. Of course, we cannot simply time something to the numerator as this will be imbalanced as compared to the previous line. So we should times exactly the same thing to the denominator part. So times 1, we will affect anything here, we'll get back exactly the same thing. So times the conjugate, we should have 1 minus cos squared x divided by x squared times cos x times 1 plus cos x. So this is equal to, by using the trigonometric identity, 1 minus cos squared x is equal to sine squared x and over x squared times cos x times 1 plus cos x. So I'm going to times the numerator part by 1. So anything times 1, we get back exactly the same thing. So which means that this one we can split further since we have the pre-proof limit here, sine x over x. So I'm going to take out sine x and x. So we have sine x over x. Square and square. By using the law of indices, we can take out the square times 1 over cos x times 1 plus cos x so we can now evaluate the limit so we have the limit for this term is equal to 1 and the limit for this term is equal to 1 as well so 1 squared is also equal to 1 which means that we just have to evaluate this limit in other words the limit x approaches 0 for the function tangent x minus sine x over x cubed is equal to the limit x approaches 0 for the function sine x over x times the limit x approaches 0 for the function sine x over x square times the limit x approaches 0 for the function 1 over cos x times 1 plus 
cost x. And this is equal to, this one we already proved that is equal to 1 times, this is 1 square, and we times the last one, we can substitute the value 0 since the denominator is not equal to 0 when we substitute. So it's not infinity, but a value that we can evaluate. Cos 0 is equal to 1 times 1 plus cos 0 is equal to 1. So which means that we have 1 times 1 is equal to 1 and 1 over 1 times 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So which means that the limit for this function when x approaches 0 is equal to 1 over 2 and hence with that. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.